So a few months back, I posted a video. Uh, a friend and I took this out with the drag timer to see what it would run, just to kind of get an idea. And uh, we really didn't have any high expectations given the traction situation, but it ended up running a 1413, which surprised us both. I just recently made another run, and I wanted to preface that video clip with a rundown of some of the changes that I made. One of the biggest issues was traction. Obviously, this thing was a one-tire fryer from hell. It was a struggle just to get this thing to move. I had to walk it out quite a ways before I could hit it. Since the old tires were very old and hard, the most obvious thing to do was to to replace those with something new. So I picked up a set of Mickey Thompson Sportsman STs. I assumed that would solve a lot of the problem, but it seemed to have the same issue. It didn't really help too much. I had some old Lakewood traction bars laying around, so I cleaned those up and grabbed some square bolts for them and bolted those in. And uh, those, those seemed to make the difference that I needed. The other issue was the 2-3 shift problem. I've got a Transgo 40-2 reprogramming kit in this and this is a uh, uh, 71 or up C4 that's in this and uh, it's supposed to allow full manual shifting but I was running into a problem where at five grand it would shift into drive no matter what like whether I had it into uh, had it in second or not and uh, well for me it turns out all I needed to do was hook up a kick down which I snagged one of these off of Amazon, which turns out to be a uh, knockoff of the low car kit. And had I realized that, I probably would have just bought the low car kit because this comes with some pretty low grade hardware. And it'd be nicer to have the real thing. So if you have the op option to do that, buy the real thing. It's probably a much better setup, but it does work. Anyways, now to the point of this video.